is Max Square, and in my last video, I got a question asking how I got my text to look like this with my wallpaper. And that is exactly what I'm gonna be showing you in this video, so let's just jump right into it. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Photoshop, but I will be releasing a Pixelmator tutorial on this effect soon after. So if you wanna know how to do that, just wait a few more days and it will be out soon. Now once you have opened Photoshop, you wanna go ahead and create a new document. You can make this whatever size you want. I'm gonna be using the resolution of my screen and I'm just gonna set the uh, pixels per inch at 72. So you're gonna go ahead and click OK. Then you wanna go ahead and drop in your wallpaper. Now this can be absolutely anything, but I would suggest getting an image that has a complex scene somewhere or in some part of it. Like in my other image, I have the stars going back here. So I would suggest getting something that pops out uh, and you will see why in just a second. So I'm gonna use the same image that I used for my other background. And I will leave a link in the description to download this if you would like to follow along. Once your background is in, you can just delete the white background layer and rename your wallpaper to BG. Go ahead and grab your text tool so we can add our name in here. It's gonna create a text box and then type in the name. I'm just gonna say hello and bye. And I'm using the Devil Breeze font and I will also leave a link in the description if you would like to use the same font. You set the first name to bold. Now you wanna make sure your text is white because when we add the effect, it just shows up a little better. Uh, you can use whatever color you want, but I find that white works best. I'm just gonna position this in the top left corner. And then once you have created that and moved it wherever you wanted, then just select your text layer and where it says normal, you wanna drop that down and select overlay. Then we wanna duplicate this because it's pretty hard to see. And you can do this by just using the shortcut command J. And that is pretty much the entire effect. Now you can use this for anything and it works pretty well. If you wanted to use a ellipse or something like that, you can do the same thing, just set it to overlay and you can see it provides a nice effect. Well guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope this helped you in some way or another. If so, please be sure to leave a comment down below, hit that like button and subscribe for many more videos. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.